All right, we're rolling. Oh my god. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, you're shit. freaking out. I am. <laughs> Harry Jowsey. Jowsey? Is that how I say it? Jowsey. Jowsey. Yeah. Yes. And Harry was late to the goddamn interview oh. because why? <laughs> why? I was having sex. I thought it was going to be quicker, but it wasn't. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Well, not, Wait, what? Not, uno- like, not, officially, like, oh. not officially, but like. Wait, tell us the tea. Well, no, we just, so we just. Uh, is it Larsa Pippen? No, no. Oh. Everyone thinks it is, but it's not. Well, you're going to dinners with people, so it's just like a little okay, shocking. First off, there are was you are you star fucking over there? No, no. There was no. five of us at dinner, oh, so God. they just decided to pick us and put us together. But you walked in together. You no. were you were fingering her under the table. Shut <laughs> up! I literally saw it. There's oh my time. god! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so you went to dinner with Lars and other people. Yes. But it looks like you're fucking her. Yes. So to confirm, you're not. No. I'm but not. What, would you? Like, sh- I'll get my no. I'll get my seven trouble. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you have a girlfriend? <laughs> well, not like not really, but like kind of. I don't know how it is. It's like still like early days. Early days. Like but, how yeah. early? Like <laughs> a weekend. <laughs> oh. Did you say a week in or a but, weekend? No, a week in, yeah. <laughs> we've, but we've been together like every single day. Oh, what is yeah. she like? Uh, she's the best. Stuff. She's very successful. Oh. It's very motivating. I don't know, like guys get weird about it in LA. Like they get scared of girls that are successful. But she like, I don't know, like hanging out with her and like seeing how she operates just just motivates me and turns me on. Wait, that is actually really hot that you like that. Because I think at first it's like, oh, you want to be with a girl that's successful. Yeah. And then when she like makes more money than you or is more relevant than yeah. you, because you're irrelevant. No, I'm just oh. kidding. No, I'm just is kidding. That, is that how it's like, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I literally put on Instagram and daddy gang everyone. I was like, how should I roast him? And people are being mean. Yeah. People are like, call him out. Like, why the fuck are you hanging out with like young TikTokers? Okay. So first off, I'm actually the same age as them. Oh. Um, you just look a little bigger. Well, yeah, because they're little. Like, American <laughs> yeah, guys yeah, yeah. are little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, we're the same age. And like, I... I realized that in America, or like, I don't know if it's in the scene, but everyone views relationships as like transactional, like what they can get out of it. I love like everyone around me. And there's a lot of people that I'm like, that I hang out with that I don't post about or people who aren't in the scene, people who don't have any following stuff like that. So it's, it's annoying that people are like trying to put me on that level or like see it as like, oh, he hangs out with them. But I hang out with everyone. It's just like, those are the people that like film and do stuff like Okay, yeah. that actually is fair because I yeah. feel like I have a lot of friends that I don't post on social media, mm-hmm. but obviously they're not on social media. So people are like, oh, do you have like no fucking friends? And I'm like, no, I do. Yeah. I just don't post them. So you are on TikTok. Yes. I haven't looked at your TikTok, but don't, I don't want don't, to. Oh, don't. Okay. Yeah, it's bad. It's crazy. <laughs> so you're like shirtless. Yeah, it's you're like, like humping towards the <laughs> camera. You're like, look at my wiener. Okay, no, so you're no, making no, the no, most no. of your opportunities. Yes. You think you have a girlfriend right now. How'd you guys meet? On a podcast. Wait. Really? Oh shit! I'm giving it way. Wait too on much. a podcast. Yes. Well, when, like it's not. I don't know. Like it's still like in limbo. Like we've been spending every day together, and yeah. it's like, it's. I don't know. Like it's just. It's so. Do you want a girlfriend? Yes, I would. I would love it. Like I. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I would please. love it. <laughs> oh my god! You're like hungry for it. No. It's like anyone on the street could be like Harry. I'm you'd like, like ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, I, so she's just like, she's different. And I, I keep telling her, I'm like, you're really rare. Like, you're not like, oh God, you're not like any other girl. No, but like this one oh. is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. So, yeah. so you, she's rare. She is. No, she's like a sweetheart. She's like very motivated. She's got a very soft soul. She's got her guards up. Like she's had a. Is some, she your physical type? Uh, yes. Yeah. Does she have a fake butt? No. Oh. No, she doesn't. She I doesn't have like fake you, anything. I feel like you like girls with fake butts. I look. <laughs> I'll like any, I'll no, fake anything. No, I'm attracted to energy. Just sometimes. I'm gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm attracted to anything. No, I'm attracted energy. To good energy. Okay. Yes. So like you could literally. You could have a fake ass. Look like a drop pumpkin, and I'd and I'd be uh, like. I don't think so. I think well, that's bullshit. I'd, I'd fuck it. No, I'm joking. You fuck it, but you wouldn't date it. <laughs> okay, I have questions for you. Mm. Do you prefer blonde or brunettes? <laughs> uh, You'll be done soon, I promise. We no, won't go I'm too ta- long. I, let's just say brunette. Brunette. So, yeah. 
So that what? I know. I'm just getting myself. In oh, trouble. because the girl you're hooking up with right now is a brunette. <laughs> well, she's got blonde you're as well. Oh, so right, I'm, right, like, right. I'm like trying to. She's think. got some highlights. <laughs> yeah. Blonde and brunette, whatever she is. The minute you dump her, it's like blonde. Uh, yeah. Um, because that is your past. But I feel like brunette, like Francesca, was a brunette. Yeah. Uh, yes, she was. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yes, you have eyes, Alex. Good. <laughs> um, do you keep a list of girls that you fuck? Yeah. We. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So can you explain that to me? Okay. So that's fucking great. It's gross. No, like, it's great. Well, uh, oh, so it's gross. Well, the list is gross. No, no, but no. it's a great list. No, no, no. So my girl now is actually just like, we were, we we're talking about stuff like that. She's like, oh, gross. Who would keep a list? And I'm like, yeah. You're like, honestly, that's so, so disturbing. I was like, Ugh. who would ever do like, that? Like, really? More than 10 people? <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Meanwhile, you're like pulling out an entire book. <laughs> like, I'm like, like deleting on. it off my notes on my phone knowing it's saved on my laptop. I'm just like, yeah, crazy. <laughs> crazy. I don't know. So yeah. it's, it's very long. Uh, no, it's okay. No, it's long. It's, uh, shut up. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. It's but it's got a lock on it. <laughs> You can lock no. notes. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you have it in a locked note. Yes. Yeah, you can't get it. No <laughs> one's getting Nobody's in there. Nobody's getting in but there. I just, the thing is, like, I just n- like to know where I've been. So after a big night out, you're oh. drunk and yeah. you're just like, God fuck. forbid you forget, like, multiple and multiple <laughs> and hundreds of the hundreds. I'm not that bad. You're in the hundreds. Don't be shy, sweetheart. It's okay. Daddy Gang's gonna <laughs> roast me. No, Daddy Gang's gonna love it. You fuck. It's good. <laughs> I mean, listen. At least if you own it, yeah, right? For sure. So like, you're going on dates with girls. And you're like, hello. Like, what's your body count? She's like five. You're like, I am in the two hundreds, and I'm soaring. I think it's okay for you to admit yes. that, though. You had a fuck boy stage. Oh yeah, I was very busy. Well, especially you when were I was very moved, busy. Especially when I moved to LA, like it's like a handshake. Like you go out and everyone. Wait, really? Tell like, us about that. Are you Australian? And I was like, okay. So before I even had any sort of following or anything like that, I was leaving Hyde. This I was like, I was skinny and shit. I looked like an asparagus. I was so gross. Oh. And I was talking to my Some friend. Some girls like that. And this chick walks out and she, and she hears me talking. She goes, are "You Australian?" And I was like, "Yes." She's like, "Where are you going?" I was like, "Home." And I was like, "Where are you going?" She's like, "Home as well." I was like, "Do you want to get in your Uber?" I get in an Uber, go to her place. All I remember is she had a G wagon and then oh. they were playing Christian. Music? Like no Rock? on the on the TV on the TV. Oh. So I, I saved on my phone as G Wagon Girl and I legit remember I gave her the shittest dicking of her entire life <laughs> and I and I tried to roll over, she's like, You cannot stay here and I'm like, Oh shit Oh fuck I was like, I'm out like oh, wait and that and it was just like that. She was like, I just wanted sex by Yeah. Uh, I don't know, or maybe it was just terrible. She's like, get the fuck out. Wait, so <laughs> you... So, okay, wow. Well, is that <laughs> usually how... <laughs> back here. Is that, is, is that usually how you perform? No, no, no. no. I, awful. Oh, terrible. We're so Half awful. a secondary, <laughs> in and out. Half a secondary. That's a good one. You should yeah. coin that. Yeah, um, nice. No, why... What is your... Like, what would you say that your sex style is? Like, when... Like, ex-girlfriends. Like, what yeah. would they say about you? Okay, so with... Uh, well, a lot of them talk shit about me now because they hate me. Oh. It's like it's like one of those things when you break up with someone. What do they say? You can't explore. Well, I don't know. I oh. just I just know. But like, not about like you in the bedroom, or do they? Ah, uh, for sure. I f- well, I feel like the first thing girls do when you break up with them is like small dick comes quick. First thing they say. But every that's time. also then it's also like, okay, well you were fucking with him for that long, sweetheart. Yeah. So what the fuck does that say about you, bitch? Exactly. <laughs> like, shut well, the fuck and, up. and also you're probably just laying there like looking right, up at the ceiling. Right, you starfish. Shut up. Yeah. Shush. Shut up. Shh. Be quiet. <laughs> it takes two to tango, yeah. bitch. Um, no, I hate when girls yes. say that because I'm like, well, that was your boyfriend, so yeah. sweetheart. That says that's more chill. about you than him. Yes. Um. So what would the what do you, like what's your style? Well, with my girl right now, it's very aggressive. So tell tell walk us through your sex that you just had. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> let's, really let's go through it. Like wow, really? She's gonna blast me when she is in. No, 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 it will be good. She's, yeah, she's gonna get. Kudos. No, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're great. You're um, great. no, it's it's very aggressive. So I pretty much just like uh, like I don't know, like I like to just make sure that she's being told what to do. And oh, and okay, I, so you're dominant. I talk a lot. That's yeah. hot. Like today, I was at the gym and I was just and I text her. I was like, leave your front door unlocked. Um, oh. And I, I was I literally said these are my orders. Uh don't don't not do it. And then I was like, leave your front door unlocked. I want you laying naked in your bed playing with your pussy by the time I walk in. Oh, Harry yeah, I was very aggressive. Oh very aggressive. Wait, but that's kind of hot. Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah. Did yeah. she respond? Uh yeah. She's like, We're meant to be going to your place. And I was like, fuck. Oh, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was we'll like just I was like covers but because I was in the gym, I was getting very angry. Oh. I was walking around just like grunting. I'm like, <laughs> fuck this. I need to get out of here. Just okay. throw oh. around. <laughs> oh wait, so you're like a juice head, a meat head. No, no, no. Are you at the gym all the time? No, I have to go every day because I'm getting like skinny fat. So right. I have to, like, Ooh, like skinny fat. Ooh, yeah, but they're sometimes they're I feel like girls, honestly, sometimes I feel like those guys fuck better than the guys with like rock hard abs so maybe yeah. keep it in, in between yeah right. um okay so you go home you yes. like to be rough and sexual and do you have what's your favorite position 
Uh, honestly, right now, uh, with my current girl, I just love to pick her up and like oh, carry, th- carry her around like that. Because then she literally, Cause she, little? she literally can't move. So I'm just like, <laughs> you're like, just like a, you can't move, bitch. <laughs> stay there. I'm like, and I'm, take I'm it. keeping you locked down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Is she, so she's littler than. Well, yeah, you're yeah. huge. Yeah. So I guess that's kind of hot. Yeah. Um, that's fascinating. Yeah. So I love spinning in mouths as well. Oh For some reason, god. I'm really into that right now. I think that's a very. I think it's very hot. And I think a lot of people yeah. don't get it. But then once you get it, yeah, it's just like dirty. Well, I was. I literally just spit in mouth. I'm like, okay, suck my dick with it. Oh, oh wait, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Hi, you're on caller dad. <laughs> he just looked around and goes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, no, tell us more. But no, yeah. I think I think that's super hot. I think mm. when a guy spits in my mouth, it's yeah. like it's just it's supposed to be messy. Sex yeah. is supposed to be messy. Yeah. Do you have you had a lot of sex with girls that are like I would say like performers that like it's not as hot because you can just tell they're like ah, yeah. ah and you're like okay like I didn't even touch no. your clip yet. Okay, so there's tell me. A, there's this girl that my best friend's been seeing. So he's like my roommate as well. So he lives right beside my room. Right. And he's like, I need you to be home for when this girl comes over because it's okay. fucking hilarious. So I'm like, oh shit, okay. Okay. So I'm like laying in my bed like a little wholesome boy staring <laughs> at the ceiling. <laughs> And I can like he- I'm ready. I can hear this chick, and I'm laughing, and I can hear him laughing. She goes, "Oh, please, 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 fuck, 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 please, 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 please," and then just keeps going like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> like the whole time. And I and I was just like, sh- like, how do you keep? It's that- like shut the fuck up. How do you keep that up? Like it's like a fucking parrot. Like relax. It's, oh, <laughs> no, like, but actually, I feel like that's why I feel bad because mm. I feel like girls know that they're supposed to be the more at times vocal one mm. which i just want to go back to you because yeah. i heard you were saying like you like to be vocal yeah for sure which i think the biggest thing i've ever talked about on this podcast is like it's so unattractive like i've fucked guys before that i'm like okay so like are you awake like are you up there like you haven't said much like yeah. they're mute yeah fucking a guy that's mute there's nothing more unattractive Boring. i'm like i'm so bored i'm talking to myself yeah. Um, so your, your friend, I get why like girls sometimes yeah. think that they have to like overperform because sometimes sure. guys are mute. However, ladies, if you're hearing what he's saying, like it's so unattractive yeah. when you, I guess the parrot, that is pretty good. It's like, shut the fuck up. He should yeah. just knock her out yeah. and keep going. Legit. What, so your you're fingers in her mouth or something. Make it, exactly. Quiet. Or just like put something in there. Like, shh. Yeah. Um, so you're vocal. Yeah, for sure. I like, commu- like communication is big everywhere and I feel right. like. My me in bed is a different Harry. So I oh. like it's like Wait, I, that's w- fun. Well, I just I like to think it is like because I was saying do shit that I would never do in public or like in right, front of anyone. Right. So I'm just like okay. so you kind of like turn into a different yeah, animal. Yeah, for sure. So I'm like I I really appreciate it when it like if I'm not hitting your fucking G spot or on your clit, oh. tell me because right. like I'm gonna be, I'm, my forearm's gonna cramp in oh ten minutes. Like. God. I got to know where I am, sweetheart. Yeah, it's dark. Like, I'm, like, trying to <laughs> choke you from behind. Like, where the fuck is this shit? Wait, I feel like you're good at sex. That's what I'm getting from you. Nah, terrible. Oh, awful. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> girls, <laughs> don't waste your time. <laughs> okay, wait. Yes. So you, but, or do you think the girl that you're fucking right now is pleased? Uh, yes. I think, well, she does She does very well. She yeah. does well. She's Yeah, she's incredible. What does she do well? She's like she's just a little champion. Like she will, we literally like she just takes it. She she takes a great <laughs> dick. Uh, <laughs> no, she she's uh, very vocal. She's also dominant as well. So oh, like, okay. So I'll be I'll be like fucking her for a bit, and then I'll like get a bit of sweat in her mouth, and she'll look up at me, and I'm like like uh, sweat <laughs> sweating, and she'll just be like fuck you, flip me over, and then like slap so me when, a little bit. So when she can tell that you're getting tired, she'll take over. Yeah, no, she's and she's like really good, and she's like always. I I you know what's really attractive tell when, me. when a girl like will touch your leg or like grab your dick not a lot of girls do it not right. a lot of girls will initiate like if you're horny fucking Go show it. it like yeah show it because sometimes like dudes are a little bit in limbo they're just like how do i how do i initiate shit but if you're right. feeling like girls if you're listening what guy is going to turn down sex so if you're if you're horny <laughs> and you want him in your guts right. you literally in the guts grab his leg and you just fucking tell him what's up i think that's so nice to hear from a guy because i've been yeah. saying that for so fucking long i'm like does anyone understand that <laughs> a man is not gonna like punch you in the head and be like get away from me yeah. you perpetrator like no yeah. if a girl goes up and initiates it and i think that sometimes a lot of guys start to in relationships feel like fucking weirdos like yeah. they're molesting their girlfriend because it's like how many times can i initiate and you're not yeah. going to and Legit. it gets exhausting and yeah. so it's nice for once in a while for the girl or not once in a while it should be 50 yeah. 50 that you're like attacking your boyfriend or the guy that you're fucking and like you're initiating it legit like if you're horny just just do it if just you want round it. two 
Fucking do it. Slap right. that thing on your face. Wake it up. It's it's game time. Put like, it in your mouth. Would you say that? Would you be uncomfortable if a girl did that, like in the morning, and you were asleep? I, no, up. I Isn't I was literally just about to say that one of the hottest things that's People ever. People always get mad at me though and say that that's like you're taking advantage of someone and they're not. No, are like, you serious? I don't think that's. I think there's like a level. Like we can like say that's like fine. Yeah. Well, look. Like if if you actually look, if you don't know the person, you're sneaking in the room right. and putting their dick in your mouth. Like, hey, Maybe wake up. Maybe it would be, but still. Hey, I like <laughs> I don't know. No, I Some agree. people into that, but I think like it was probably one of the hottest things that's ever happened to me is I, as I woke up and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I looked down and she's just like, good morning. And I'm like, oh. And you're like, whoa, good morning. This I is amazing. Like, I was like shaking. Whoa. The um, okay, so you are really having good sex. Uh, yes. Do you uh, tend to get, do you, are you nervous like you'll get bored of sex with her though? Uh, no, not at all. So I, I think like, the opposite. So I'm already like, it's been a week, right? So I'm already like trying to bring toys in and shit. It's only been so a week. I bought like hog ties and, and all this other stuff. And this company that's trying to sponsor me, uh, they sent me like a fuckload of sex toys. And I oh was my like, God, companies do that to me all the time. It's actually the one so thing I good. like it when they send it it's to me. It's so good. But dudes, okay. What I found is like guys are genuinely scared of using toys in the bedroom. Why? I don't know. Like I'll be talking to guys and they'll be like, really? Like you want to pull well, that? What kind of toys are you bringing in? Like I'll, I'll literally just buy a vibrator, like, right. or there's the We Vibe little clip things. Ooh. Have you used that? Yes. Oh, game changer, especially so for both parties. So good. That's a fucking. So it's it's that's a game a party. changer. It's a party. Yeah. It's literally a party. Shout out We Vibe. <laughs> sponsor us, please. Um, they're we- actually my sponsor. They're the ones oh fuck! Yeah. Hey, sponsor Get me. a bag. <laughs> You're like that's one thing I brought for you, yeah. Alex. Um, okay, yeah. so you like to use them, but are sure. you are you into ass play? No. Me myself. Yeah. I had one chick eat my ass one time. Oh. It was kind of life changing, but also like kind of scary. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Walk us through the experience, okay, Harry. Okay. So, <laughs> I was living in New Zealand at the time, and okay. this chick is like, uh, she wanted me to punch her in the head. Like, oh, love that. Straight, <laughs> like, like she had an abusive ex. She's just like, oh. like in in the bedroom. She's like punch me in the fucking chin and, and i'm like, yeah. like i'm innocent like i have a little fun boy You're like i don't think so yeah, I was that's like, scary i was like i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm fine yeah, i'm fine I was, I was like i know it's for you but like she's I, like punch me i can't do it she's like slap me but i'm like <laughs> you're like, like i'm sorry little tap. it was like scary well isn't it scary as a guy when a girl asks you like fucking hit me you're like i just want to like get in writing that like that's gonna be okay because sure. as a guy that is kind of really intimidating and yeah. I, I know that like i like when a guy's rough with me but i also know that like men are terrified yeah. to do certain things like i don't yeah. know punch to the head is like a little aggressive oh, for like sure. i could see you being like i don't think i'm gonna do that yeah so okay so you didn't punch her in the head no so i was a little bit scared no. but it was like we're at a club right okay and at the time, there was no Ubers coming to pick us up. And I was like, oh, my place is like, like it's a 20-minute walk. Oh, God. <laughs> so, it's, so it's like, after a big night out, crusty, musty, Disgusting. walking all the way home. And we get there. We start, like, getting into it. And right. I didn't shave back there. I didn't prepare for any of this. And she's just, like, legit. Going. Like a sucker fish. She's like. <laughs> Boom, legs up. I was like, what's going on? I was drunk. So I'm like naked, <laughs> flailing around on the bed. Like, what the fuck is going on? And she's like back there. And I was just like, whoa. I was like, whoa. You're just like flopping around. Yeah, I was like, oh. Yeah. Wait, were you on your stomach? Or like, where were you? No, like? I was, uh, she started giving me a head. And then, and then, and then she just dove deep. The, the tongue just started like going. getting adventurous. And I was like, hey, 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 we, we're getting very low there. <laughs> well, low, low. Yeah. And then I was like trying to like push her out of it. And she just like locked in like a. <gasps> fucking wrestler she's like this <laughs> asshole's mine legit just went in like a fucking bulldog i was just like wow you're like crazy how's it going down there i haven't shaved or anything yeah so you but did it feel good from oh, what you recollect I'm amazing but look i probably won't have fingers in there why um i, I, I think you're being a bitch i think i am <laughs> I, and i'm happy with that look. wait why I just, I just look like you're too young. You'll get there, right? Oh, really? I think so. You like putting fingers in assholes? Oh my god! I promise you, <laughs> it's literally my favorite pastime. It's what I do all the time, every you day. You peg just, your boys? Oh my god! I put my, <laughs> I put my finger in every guy's ass. I think it's the best thing. I think to put anything in an ass is an amazing opportunity for everyone involved. And I think wow, it's not a business deal. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and therefore swipe up. Um, no, Harry. Yes. No. We, we need to talk about this because that's upsetting to me. I think you're missing out okay look 
I probably am, and I'm more than happy to miss out on yeah. on some things. Right. Um, <laughs> we can't. We can't have everything. But like, with the girl, with I, I got a feeling she tried. Actually, she was just like, "Oh, let me let me wash your back in the shower this morning," and I was just like, "Okay." And then okay. she's like, "Yeah, finger in your ass," and I was like, "Oh and my you're god!" Like, Please stop. Well, the thing like, is, is they can't. You know, because it's scary if all of a sudden it's like one minute you don't have something in there, and the next you're shoving it in. Yes. Um, but I do think it's kind of harmless for like a girl to eat your ass. For sure, but uh, hey, let's let's plan this. The, I've only ever done anal once, and I, we didn't plan it with my ex, and it was a shit show. Oh, like literally? Yeah, it or, was like oh. a little skunk coming out of it. <laughs> I like pulled. I was like, I was bashing. I was like sixteen. I was just like, eh. I was like, what the fuck is that smell? I said it. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I oh shit! Literally, I, oh fuck! Oh. I forgot I was in her asshole. No, like, Harry, and, and you then said, it oh shit. out on me, <laughs> and, the, and your dick was covered in shit. Yeah, it was, no. And, it's, and she's like, I need to go to the bathroom. I was like, <laughs> you're please, like, you already did. Please, yeah. <laughs> Thank I was you. Like, I was like, don't worry, I've got okay, all here. Okay, so it was a bad experience. Yes, but yeah. also that annoys me when guys are like, oh my god, it was so gross. I'm like, you will you put it in her fucking asshole? Yeah. What did you think also, was gonna come out? Is it attractive? Like, I don't know. I, I've got one friend that can only nut from putting in a girl's ass. Really? But I just think it's like a dominant scene. Like, I honestly. The pussy is good for you. Oh, it's it's self lubricating. It yeah. tastes good. It's designed for exactly what it's meant. Right. Hey, the other <laughs> hole you're shitting out of. No, that's true, and I agree with that. <laughs> I personally am not like I need anal twenty four seven or I'm gonna die. I think what I'm saying is the ass play aspect of oh. not anal, but like the licking and like an oh. occasional finger, like a butt plug. Yeah, for sure. That's hot. If a guy's like, let me put this butt plug in your ass yes. while I have my dick in your pussy, and then is rubbing my clit, and then when you have an orgasm, it's like this amazingly full feeling that yes. like I can't explain. And I'm like, that's why maybe for your girl, you should like get a butt plug. And, no, like, I've got it. heaps. Yeah, I've got oh, you've got heaps. You're yeah. like, oh, I got everything. Yeah, yeah, I no, got no, my hog locks. I got no, everything. No, for sure. Like I'll lick it. I'll eat Nas. Okay. I'll, I'll play with it. Oh, I'll, so you will. Yeah. But you just don't want it done to you. No, I'm chilling. But I'll, do you like eating ass or no? I love eating pussy. Like that, like legit. Like, you just went around the question now, Harry. Let's go back to it. Do you like eating ass? I asked. Yes. You know you like eating pussy. Well, I prefer eating pussy. Yeah, yeah. But obviously. like if there's an asshole on my face, I will put my tongue in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, if I'm being held against my will and you ask me, I will absolutely die. <laughs> okay, so do you think you'll do anal with the girl that you're... Uh, look, if she really wants... It's more so like, I just love eating pussy and I love trying to make sure that they have a good time. Yeah. Like that's, I think that's the biggest, why, uh, the biggest reason why I love eating pussy right. is because I know that they're having a good time and, it, and it's like a good way to, to get the wheels the wheels rolling, wheels rolling. Uh, things in motion because it will eventually come back to help you because then she'll be enjoying herself and then she'll yeah. do more for you and then she'll enjoy it all legit the there's nothing worse than someone who's just like looking around the room just going right, like, like I yawning want, yeah um, do mm. you like do you, have you answered a lot of girls that like slide in your DMs first uh, yes yeah. I, I have uh, a couple times but I just find it's just like I, I'm the worst replier like if I haven't met you and if I'm like a little rando yeah, I, I suck. Like, I'm the worst reply. Like, legit, I've like I've had some of the hottest girls, like, Instagram girls. Who's like, the most famous person in your DMs? Uh, there was a chick with, like, 40 million followers. Oh. But not anymore. Like, I, I stopped replying. Like, I see, the thing is, it's like, I'm... You, I'm, a, I'm a taken man. And well, I <laughs> no, 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 I just, I'm the, the worst. So, like, with this girl that I'm seeing now, like, I'll reply in seconds. Like, I'm right. legit, like, well, si you're texting sitting her. by my phone, and I'm just, like, checking it. Like, that's how, like, I'm so obsessed with her. She's amazing. Well, yeah, um, it's been a fucking week, aren't we yeah. all obsessed with <laughs> for a fucking week? Let's check in yeah. in a fucking month, Harry. <laughs> Jesus. But, like, other girls, like, if I if you DM me, I'll be like, hey. Okay, but so have you, um, you fucked girls that have DM'd you? Uh, yes, I believe so. <laughs> okay, well, pull out the fucking list, Harry, because we know you have it. <laughs> Fuck you. You're Good. like, yeah, I mean, I don't really reply, but, like, somehow, all of a sudden, they've been, like, in my bed or something. I don't know. Okay, so you fucked girls from the Sorry, gram. Actually, actually, this chick DM'd me, and she's like, I look I look like your ex. All my friends would be telling me I look like your ex. <laughs> you're and like, and, you're and, not I, and I, I saw the request, and I was just like, okay, cool. Like, relax, cowboy. Right. We're over that stage. We're moving on. Right. She finds me at a party, like a fucking heat-seeking missile <laughs> out of nowhere. And she's just like, I DM'd you. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> What's going it's on? It's also so unattractive. Like, hi, I DM'd you, yeah. Harry. And you're like, okay. I was like, oh, oh nice. I really didn't answer. Yeah, I was like, which DM was it? She's <laughs> like, oh, the one where I said it looked like your ex. And I was like, oh, shit, that was you. Nice. Uh, cool stuff. And then she cool just stuff. wouldn't leave me alone. And then I ended up pity dicking her because I felt bad. <laughs> she you pity dicked her. Yeah. At the face house in the movie theater. So if they watch that footage, do they'll you, be Do you think she enjoyed it, though? 
Uh, I don't Who's know. Chasing for clout. I don't know. But I don't you don't know. have clout. So what, what the exactly. I'm falling off so <laughs> quick. I'm like Soldier Boy. Oh no, he's coming no, back. <laughs> he's coming back. You'll be back in a few years, yeah. Harry. We just need another show. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you answer girls in the DMs, which is good to know. Mm-hmm. Um. Would you care if the girl you were dating had an OnlyFans? No. That's like a. I, I think you it's hot. Care. It's yeah. hot. Get your fucking bag. Take get, advantage of these men. Get man. your bag. Because Harry doesn't have one, so he needs a girl yeah, that please. has one. <laughs> please. I'm scared. Would you ever subscribe to a girl with an OnlyFans or are oh, you? Plenty. Oh, plenty. Yeah. Really? Sure. Yeah, I did. Well, okay. So w- when I was in my fuckboy stage, if a girl hit me up and there's like the link tree in her bio, I'm like, click OnlyFans, subscribe. I want to see what the fuck is on here. Like, I want to see what I'm dealing right. with. Right. Like, and you would date a girl with an OnlyFans. For sure. The girl that I'm seeing now, like... Has an OnlyFans? No, no, no. no. Oh. Uh, probably a bit better, but like she just posts like risky stuff. And I think it's hot. I'm like, yeah. cool. Do, do your shit. It's like. Wait, that's so desirable. hot because I feel like there are so many guys that are like, I don't want a girl that like posts slutty pictures on the gram. And it's like, yeah. hey, well, help. I'm taking those photos. I'm like, get your cheeks out. Come <laughs> on. Like, if you want to pop a nipple, like, I'm here. Like, let's, let's do it. Wait, but do you. So you. Uh, I, that is interesting because mm. then it's like, well, who is she posting them for? It's always the guys. Like, it's like, why are you posting that if I'm your boyfriend? But you I, I'm like, if you feel sexy, fucking do it. Okay, see, more men need to be a little bit like you, Harry. No, honestly, don't, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I am the That's worst. That's one compliment I gave you this whole fucking episode, yes. so take it. I'm okay, <laughs> so you don't care about OnlyFans. Yes. Do you care if a girl fucks you on the first date? No. It's lit. And you would date her? Yes. Yeah. But? No, I, I, was, just thinking, I was just thinking about the girl I'm saying now, but we didn't fuck the first day. We, we did everything but, and it was, like, very hard. It was very steamy. Okay. Because, I was, I'd see, my goal was to be celibate until the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, because like I was, because I wanted. Okay, so when I first moved to LA, I was a bit crazy. Okay. So I went celibate for four and a half months. Oh. And because I just wanted to focus on my business, I want to focus on getting my ducks aligned and make sure everything's like ready for once the show aired, and I wanted to make sure that everything was like good to go. Right. So I found myself like slipping into a bit of a like a fuckboy stage. Uh, Only rec- focusing on pussy. Yeah. Recently, it was just like a full time job, and I was just like, this is gross. Like, it's boring. Right. So I'll be at a party, and like girls will hit me up, and then I'll be like, oh, whatever, like come back. So I was just like, kind of, just like this isn't this isn't what I'm after. Like I genuinely want someone like to to be in my corner. Cause look, one night stands suck. They're yeah. fucking, they're boring. You don't know anything about that person. You don't know what's gonna make them squirt. No, you don't know what's no. going the sex on. Sex is not that. Good. Yeah, legit. It's, it's yeah. just like a jackhammer. You're just like trying to. It's Literally. I'm here for me. I don't right. give a fuck about what's going on here. I'm trying to get this in for me. But when you care about someone, yeah, you're just like, okay, cool. Like I want to take my time. I want to invest. My afternoon right, and you get to in know, your guts. I, in my afternoon in your guts. And there we have it, folks. Um, <laughs> There's a quote no, of the day. <laughs> that's, a, that's honestly pretty beautiful. I agree <laughs> with you. I think a lot of girls, like, what would your be advice? Because so many girls, I feel like, mm. think, oh, my God, I have to sleep with him to keep him no. interested. And then they never get called back. Yeah. And they are like, what am I doing wrong? And I'm like, I think a lot of times people just don't read social cues. Like, yeah. if you're going on a first date and he seems like a fuckboy and you go home and you fuck him, you shouldn't be surprised if the guy doesn't yeah. fucking call you back the next day, exactly. ladies. And it like people are so butthurt and they cry about it. But I'm like, read the fucking room. Yeah. Like, read the room. And I think the biggest issue is people go on dates at night. Stop it. Oh, right now. Okay. Stop it. Nighttime leads to nighttime activities. <laughs> That's a fact. That's 100% proven. That's if you go point. to dinner at night and you have a few drinks, you're a little bit tipsy, they're attractive. Your legs open, you're ready to yeah, go. Like, but not on a coffee date, bitches. Yeah, exactly. Brunch, picnic, beach. Ooh, picnic. Get your shit sorted. Harry Potter. <laughs> go to picnic. Tell Wait, him to pick his nuts up and go to picnic. <laughs> come to my fucking picnic, bitch. <laughs> I actually think that's really smart. And like, if he won't go on a motherfucking picnic with he's you, bitches, a bitch. he's a bitch and he only wanted to fuck. <laughs> yes. So that's what we ask. We go, do you want to go on a picnic with me, Harry? <laughs> and if Harry says, it's so crazy, but I can't do that today, but I'll see you at dinner. No. Block if him. I, blocked. Fuck or his best friend. <laughs> fuck his dad. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we always ramp it up here. Okay, <laughs> I actually think that's a really, really good Powerful bit message. of advice. Every woman listening, if you feel like you've been just having unlucky opportunities mm-hmm. with the dating game, um, have you been on dating apps? I was on Raya for a bit, but everyone's just mud and boring. It's so awful. Sucks. It's really awful. And I th- it was actually interesting. My brother gave me this bit of advice for mm. guys, and I maybe you would think it's true too. He was like, <laughs> the biggest issue with d- dudes on uh, like um, dating apps. Yeah. 
he was like, some of my friends will just marinate in the dating app and you're having conversations with girls and it's like paragraphs and paragraphs and you're talking and you're talking and then it eventually fades out. Yeah. The minute you match with a girl and you think she's hot, guys, and also girls, I think it's hot, get the fucking number and go yeah. right to texting because like that way at least and then yeah. you set up a time to see each other. Like, hey, do you want to go on a coffee date, blah, blah, Just Fuck the talking and like all that shit. Obviously, you want to like know if you kind of vibe. But to, like, marinate in the fucking dating mm. app and talk about, like, yeah, I'm, like, my childhood trauma. And it's, like, okay, now we've talked through everything and I'm on to the fucking next. Don't yeah. play all your fucking cards on the dating app. Guys will send fucking paragraphs sometimes, which it doesn't seem like you're doing. <laughs> but I just feel like – it actually doesn't even seem like you're answering, <laughs> Harry. Um, but, but I do think for guys and girls – if you slide in, yeah. you say like, "Hey, like, let's. Here's my number. Let's grab a drink this week, or now in this case, coffee, girls. Um, yeah. That way, you're being initiative and you're taking action. Because my brother was like, when a girl does that to me, rather than the other girl, that's like, "Hey, what's up?" He's like, "Shut up, bitch." Next. Draining. So yeah. I think just be smart with your dating apps. So you're not on dating apps anymore. No, no chance. You're married. I just think that like they're so, like it's just it's just, it's just so, it's so, so like repetitive. shallow and yeah. it's just like. Hey, how are you? Where are you from? Cool. Right, right. Nice. Boring. Fuck Sucks. you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Delete Send this me a news, fucking son. app. <laughs> I want to see you spread. Wait, where are you? <laughs> I want to see you spread or get the fuck out. Next. Dude, how many nudes do you have on your phone? And like, where can we find them? And like, where can we tell your girlfriend to look for them? Uh, I have, no. What is your app? I actually have one of those. You're like, Alex, I don't have that. I have one of those about? photo vaults. But oh, photo vaults. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. How many? There's just one. No. <laughs> No, I mean, how many pictures? Uh, like, just one. <laughs> just one. I actually don't know. I haven't checked it in the longest. But, like, a lot. You yeah, I, I put my nudes in them. Most. You put your nudes in there. Yeah, I don't, know if, I don't know if it's safe. I don't know if it's safe, but I'm just waiting for them to get leaked. I'm like, I think it would be good be for up. everyone. I think we need to see what is boyfriend dick. Let's what, talk about what boyfriend dick is. It's actually, I put it on my Twitter. I was just like, oh, my abs coming back. And it was, like, gray sweatpants. And you could literally just see my meat. Wait, <laughs> did it look good? I look, Yeah, it looked okay. What was the feedback? Uh, there, was, there was a lot of, like, Harry, this is not about your abs. It's like... But so girls liked it. Uh, yeah. So you looked good. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, it's nice. So you basically released your own dick. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to hold the power. Like, yeah. you were the one that released it, not like an ex. Being exactly. Pissed. But it also worked out for you. Yeah. Because girls were like, whoa. It's a good looking dick. So you have a, <laughs> like, you, everybody listening, if yes. you don't watch the show, he calls hi himself that he has boyfriend dick, which I honestly think is pretty brilliant. And, like, yeah. you had a lot of good terms that you brought to the show that I think was, what the, also there's a possum. Yeah, a naughty little possum. I don't know. I call people weird names. So like I so I call people just like little food Naughty names. Naughty little possum. Also, this is a, if there's dudes listening, mm. the best way to compliment a girl is call her like a little food name or a little sunflower. Oh, a little sunflower. If you're just like, hey, my little sunflower or little chicken, little it's chicken. different. They laugh, Ooh. and it's just little like cupcake. quirk. Yeah, little bitch. You want to make? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, I said oh, it in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you little, you little fucking, fucking bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take <And> this dick. <laughs> And then you walk outside the bedroom, you're like, my little cupcake. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Two split personality disorder coming at me. Bipolar. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Wait, are those, is that a bad sign? Apparently. Wait, apparently really? we're the worst because we're two split personalities. Uh, Maybe that's what it is. Like sexual Harry and like oh. normal innocent. And then like, hello, my little chicken. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Hi, I hope you have a blessed day. Wait. Stay positive. <laughs> Wait, like... <laughs> When you said that the girl's going to eat you out, and you're like, all of a sudden, no, when you were like, when she's gonna hit, she want me to hit her, and you're like, what? No, and I wouldn't do that. Yeah. You're like, okay, so I like that you have uh, split personality disorder. That's honestly, we're we're Listen, we get the mental you. disorders out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't know Gemini was bad, but I also have never dated a Gemini. Yeah, maybe I would hate you. Uh, Why? You probably, you probably. What's hate your me. what is like your sign known for? I don't know. The split personality. I'm still disorder? trying to figure it out. I when I first oh, moved to LA, you don't know which personality. No, I'm just I don't you're know what's just, going on. You're I'm like staring at myself in the mirror, like what's wrong with you <laughs> but when i first moved to la i was at ep and lp at a bar and i was sitting there and i ordered a drink this girl walks up to me she goes what's your star sign and i was like gemini and she's like uh, gross could have called it and left oh, and i was oh. like oh shit you're like oh fuck i'm scarred i was like i'm sorry oh, do i make it up like am i a sagittarius yeah maybe i could be her, anything yeah. Yeah. Yeah, i could be anything which is why I'm you a are a gemini <laughs> <laughs> you have multiple personalities harry wow whoever's listening gemini's write me i didn't know you guys fucking sucked but also that probably is why i haven't dated you <laughs> swore my ex was a gemini then um he definitely had multiple personalities <laughs> is there anything that like you don't like i'm trying to think for yeah. girls like for yeah. help from you as a guy's perspective like if a girl isn't as confident about like her body but like sh like what do you can you give a okay. girl advice so this is this is the best advice that i got in high school from oh. one of my best friends okay because he was so skinny and he just had so much confidence and i'm like hey like what's going on like 
what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like, Why are you more confident than me? Yeah, I'm like, I'm no more. I'm taller. Like, yeah, let's give on. me that's my personality. Yeah, and like, I don't walk into a room like yeah, you. Yeah, and, and like you, you go, you, you're nuts are hanging when you walk in this room. <laughs> and he had the hottest girl at high school. His name was Rody, by the way. Shout out Rody Rutherford. Um, Shout out. And he was like to me, he's like, you know what? I'm stuck in this body for the rest of my life. I don't have, I don't get another body. I don't get to be anyone else. And if I don't love myself, if I'm not in love with myself, no one else would love me. He's like, I'm so confident. Because I fucking love myself. This is me. Like I'm, I'm in this bitch. Wow. He's like, I'm not going anywhere. So, ladies, if you're I'm listening, in this bitch, literally, that's actually legit. Yeah. Like, ladies, if you're listening, have a chocolate bar. Look yourself in the mirror. Remember who the fuck you are, and love yourself. Be confident. It's so sexy when girls are confident. Thank you. That's my <laughs> TED talk. <laughs> Wait, Harry. But it's true though. It Dude, is. Dude, that's actually fucking brilliant. It's so that true. He said that because it's so fucking true. It's like. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. You can obviously work out and eat healthier, but like it is what it is. If you don't feel confident at all, it's like, well, then why? If you're not rating that, yeah. then why would someone want to hang out with exactly. you? Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, if I you don't think you're hot, then, you know, and it's not about looks. It's about like, if you have a great personality. Energy. Exactly. Energy. Yes. Yeah. You've been saying that since Br- the Bring episode. it in. Like, look, someone's going to have smaller nipples than you. Someone's going to have a bigger butt. Who gives a fuck? Fuck. You are you. Right. And that's it. Own that shit. Be confident. Grab that dick. Ride Grab that man like fuck. a fucking ape. <laughs> And go. then you won't be complaining. Just go. Just do it. Wait. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Wait, Harry, I feel like you're like kind of um less do du- not douchey. I didn't really no, know I'm what to ex- No, no, <laughs> yeah, you are. No, I, I was gonna say I feel like you're less um I'm a piece of shit. Well, no, I can't say that. Oh, I am. You've been saying no, it all you're, day. You're, you're definitely personable. Like, I want yeah. everyone listening that's like, why are you having him on? You're. I can tell you're not a bad person. Like, yeah. but what what's wrong with you? A lot. Like, <laughs> I love asking. Like, what's, what's yeah, up? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm, yo, what's in there? I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out. Now, there's a, there's a lot for sure. Ask my ex. Like, if you get if you get oh, her fuck if you get her on, I'm sure I'm sure the whole podcast will <laughs> I be. I have you guys both on together. We can do it. Oh nice my show. god, like, I no. I would no, hate no, no. that. Yeah. But she knows you have a lot of dark shit. Because I saw on Logan's podcast, you were saying like you were dealing with a lot of family yeah. shit and friend shit. And I think that that's something that everyone listening on the internet, I understand you can sit here and people can be like, why the fuck are you having this person on? I get shit all the yeah, time for my for sure. guests right now. But I also think that sometimes with, I get it, these influencers, people just shit on them. But like, we're all human beings yeah. and like we all read the comments and like I get such negative comments sometimes about like yeah. how I look or what I'm doing and I'm sure you do too and as much as you are a really outgoing guy yeah. I'm sure there are some times where it's like oh you're a fucking pussy and like you're getting called yeah. like gay and all this shit it's like I'm sure it could get to you at times yeah and I think like with the TikTok audience people like celebrate being negative so there'll be like a negative comment yeah. or they'll do at someone and they'll like fucking roast them like they celebrate that on TikTok. I don't get it. So legit, if you're on my tic- if you're on my TikTok and you're in my comment section and you say something else, I just delete it. I'm just like, yeah. the, I see a lot of influencers that just leave it up, and I'm like, who gives a fuck about user nine four seven eight telling you that you got fucking like skinny ankles? Who, who cares? Fuck. Fuck them. Because no, they're ba- they're a fucking loser. Like yeah. I'm sorry, but people that are trolls on the internet, I'm like. Yeah. You are a fucking loser hiding yeah. behind a username because you can't say like you would never say it to Harry's fucking face. Yeah, if you saw him I'll in fucking drop you. <laughs> oh yeah, you I'll throw elbows. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's true. I um I remember like someone my friend was telling me that she was she's in classes right now and she was mm. like there was literally a article that she had to read and they were studying and it was like the death suicide rate conversion of people that read comments on reddit yeah and it's like i think the same goes for tiktok it's like the amount of negativity it's like cool to troll people and it's cool to be mean and that's why it is concerning i feel like when i look at these younger girls that are getting famous on tiktok everything has to do with their appearance like i remember madison beer like everyone's so hyper focused on the girl's body and does she fucking edit her photos or whatever i don't remember what i was reading but i just remember like the amount of people that are like go fucking kill yourself i'm like i'm sure she's a very nice girl yeah <laughs> and like, like let I her live yeah so i think everyone daddy gang like we don't need to be trolling anyone on the internet apart ever, from me except for harry Roast everybody me. please <laughs> go to harry's fucking page and destroy <laughs> 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 wait harry i think we had a lot of fun today yes we did is there anything else that we didn't cover that like you want people to know about you how about that i feel like it's a good Ooh, platform to be it. like what do you want people to know about you like truly um okay so my biggest thing is my ex was saying that i cheated on her Right. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. Let's so she's been out. in like every comment section. She's been in every fan page group chat saying all this stuff about me cheating on her. Right. So I just want you to think like I broke up with her two times because I had to. The first thing was the Vegas situation that you spoke about earlier. Yeah. When I found out some stuff and I also had like a lot of bad family 
like trauma stuff going on where I needed my best friend right. and she couldn't be there. Uh, but she was escorting in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucks. She's like, hey, so like I'm having like really bad like trauma in my bad. family. And she's like, baby, I got to go get this cash. I got to go escort. And you're like, huh? She's like, I, she literally, <laughs> I, I was like, oh, why couldn't I like contact you last night? She's like, I had my phone on flight mode. I was with like famous people. I didn't want them to think that I'm like texting. I'm like, I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm also your boyfriend. But also now it's kind of crazy. Like months later, you're realizing like she was escorting. You're like, that even sucks more. But at least she yeah. got her bag. But and you were going through really hard stuff yes. and she was in Vegas. Too, yeah. Whatever. So the first. The also, fir- no shade to you, Francesca. Like, yeah. go do whatever. Do but think? it does get the bag. You were in a situation where you needed your girlfriend. Yeah. And she chose to be escorting instead of like helping you with your family shit. Yeah. Okay, so for that's sure. number one. But yeah. So I, I obviously I don't talk on that because it's it's done. I spoke about it on Logan's podcast. Right. I did it briefly. Uh, but the second time we broke up. So we broke up. Uh, it was like probably a couple months before we announced it because we don't know what to do. We right. filmed a breakup video. Uh, and I told her because like we were together and it was just like toxic. Like I was trying to, I literally said to her, I just wanted to build, start as friends and build our way up and like go from there because we didn't get that opportunity because we were straight on a TV show, yeah. found love. Like it was the most insane experience and it was like horrible how gross it's been since then. Like how toxic it's been. Like I've only, I only want to look at the good memories with her and I only like, if I ever saw, I'd, I'd probably buy her a drink and give her a hug and, yeah. and I hope she's all good. But like, so the situation that sucked the most is we had this PR plan of how we were going to like uh, announce the breakup and do it properly. I actually made like a like a little cute memories video to post on my TikTok and Instagram to say, hey guys, sometimes things don't work out. But the thing that really upset me was we broke up and then she said that Harry has been like, she made a uh, YouTube video that like went went in on me. And I was like, this is weird because the, that was a day before she number one moved to LA and number two, we had the, the PR plan to start rolling out like, my management so we're the same manager at the time put a lot of money and effort into making sure that this was like seamless and that our fans would understand that sometimes things just don't work right. out and it was just it was very toxic and it was very like heated so that happened she dropped this video and she's continued to push this narrative that i cheated on and i'm like francesca i broke up with you number one i couldn't i wasn't didn't have that feeling for because of what happened when we first broke up because i was so damaged and torn and i couldn't look at you the same right. it was so difficult and the re- and the thing that annoyed me is she keeps saying this, and all her fan pages are in my like. Well, that's cro- what everyone's asking me. Oh, what? Ask him why he cheated. So you yeah. didn't cheat on her? No, never. And that's the thing that breaks my heart the most. Like she's in Vegas doing her thing. No right. one knows the truth. I've got yeah. videos of her kissing dudes. I got screenshots. I got all this stuff. I even got like screenshots with celebrities that she sent me to like make me feel like a like tiny, like it made me feel so bad. So I'm getting like no upset. I yeah. Um, but anyway, so that happened and she all her fan pages keep continuing to push this narrative like oh harry's a liar harry cheated harry did this and that and even when i announced the breakup i went on instagram live i had like fifty thousand people and i was like look nothing bad's happened uh francesca if you're watching this with your friends i legit if you watch it back find it on youtube i literally was just like if your friends are there please give her a hug like make sure she's all good like i genuinely care about her and but then she's been running with this narrative yeah she well, and it's a, i do think it speaks a little bit to your character and again like i would love to get more of her side but yeah, i for sure I, but i and hearing she, you i'm sorry but like you never came out and you're like hi to the world unfortunately francesca is currently escorting in vegas and i'm breaking up with her because i'm also going through shit with my family like yeah. blah, blah blah whether it's true not whatever that's what everyone yeah. i mean in la yeah. knows and i'm sure she'll clap back after this and try and say shit but the the thing is that frustrates me the most is she was saying that like she's got screenshots and stuff of that of me cheating and i'm like yeah what is that and i'm like post them who's the girl tell her to come forward like if there's someone there's someone that i genuinely was cheating on you with that i actually don't know about i remember there was only one person that i hit up once we broke up and i was just it was this chick that i used to see when i first moved to la and i was like oh you in la and we were talking for a little bit and then she uh was like are you with francesca i was like no we broke up like a month ago we're just we're just continuing to comment on each other's photos because we don't really know what to do and we have a pr plan we want to make it like as seamless as possible so that happened, and then she started running with that. Her f- friends put it in YouTube videos saying, I did this and that. She commented everywhere, continuing, like, it essentially, like, canceled me. And I and I still, still to this day, haven't even... Come forward with, like, everything uh, with that you anything. have. So this is probably the first time. Well, you're, you're not fully even coming fully forward, because yeah. I understand what you're saying about, like, having a lot, a lot, a lot of shit that could completely destroy the narrative that she's coming with, yeah. if that's the truth. And I think that, like... 
I would love to almost use this episode as like nobody knows the, all the fucking full no one story knows shit. ever. So when people only when one person in a situation decides to mm. come out and tell part of a story, whether it's a lie or part of it, if you don't ever hear the other full story from someone, everyone listening understand on the internet. You have no fucking idea what's going yeah. on behind closed doors. The, th- the thing is, I always found the people who don't need to defend themselves are the people that are telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, like, she said all this, and she wanted an uh, online battle. Yeah. And I started, like, going on podcasts and, like, feeding into it, and I'm right. like, fuck, I don't really yeah. care about it. Like, so it's I'm like, bad energy. I, it's bad fucking energy. Yeah. And you know the truth. Exactly. I know my truth. And then it's like, everyone else can fucking speculate on the internet. Yeah. But at the, at the end of the day, gossip will continue, and another yeah. drama will come, and this will be irrelevant Exactly. Too. And the thing is, like, we only have one life. Yeah. Only one chance in this bitch. I know. You only have one. And you want to continue to focus on negative shit and stuff right. that, like, brings you down and yeah. brings you back. That's why I'm like, literally, I don't want to keep being a dead horse. I just want it to be done. I want yeah. her to be happy. Leave me alone. Let me do my thing. Like, right. fuck that. I, well, because I think at the end it. of the day, I don't, I know I don't know you, but I yeah. don't think, like, it takes a lot more energy to, like, hate people. Oh. And it's not like you hate her. So, yeah. like, you can sit there and try to, like, Put out every fire yeah. or you can be like, I've got a great fucking girl. I want to go live my life. Yeah. Boom. Thank you so much for coming on Call Her Daddy. You truly were. I feel like we're like friends. That was we so are. fun. We're besties. That, we're besties. That was super fun. Daddy gang, I hope you enjoyed that. Go show Harry some love. Go troll him. Whatever you want to do. Thank Just you for having it. me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs>